I'm going to use this example of OS master map data to show you the grids and graticals function in Map3D. If I look at the data connector for this map, this OS master map data is using the British National Grid coordinate system. I'll turn off this high level detail and show some lower level detail for the purposes of this exercise. If I look at the coordinate systems assigned to this map, we can then change those from British National Grid to a universal transverse Mercator projection. I'm going to use a European system. So this is an Europe map projection based on the universal transverse Mercator zone 30. Lower down in this map, I've created an AutoCAD point, the coordinates of which are on an even grid value. We'll now switch to paper space and to this A1 layout, and we're going to add the grids and graticules to this layout. So I'll select the viewport. You can see the coordinate system there. We'll set a scale for this of 1 in 10,000, and we'll use a 100 meter grid. You'll see automatically Map3D projects a 100 meter grid across the viewport. It's also created grid annotations for you and you can see the full coordinate values in the lower left corner here. So this grid system is based on the UTM map projection that I've used in this example. If I look at my AutoCAD point you'll see that it is on an even coordinate value. Notice that as I change the viewport, the graticule automatically moves and readjusts itself to the new viewport scale or pan position. Let's change the system again. So I'm going to select a much larger scale this time and a 1000 meter grid interval. Notice again, it just reprojects itself to the new values that I've assigned. We're going to now zoom out to an even larger map, just to explain a little bit more about this grid and graticule system. So I'll select again a much larger scale now, and we'll project this as a new grid system onto our viewport. This is going to be quite dense, but it shows you that there are different zones in this UTM grid. I'll change the level of the grid to make it clearer. But you can see only one zone is actually parallel to the screen. The adjacent zones are at an angle. And you can see the boundary meridian for each zone is printed on the edge of the map. So these UTM zones are 6 degrees wide and 8 degrees long. This grids and graticles function could be very useful if you're working in other parts of the world where the UTM system is in common use. It currently only works with the UTM grid projection system.